It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of November 30th through December 5th. This is going to be you and the other person, however it resonates with you. Typically, this is your column, their column, and the overall energy between the two of you, but you could be here and they could be here. You choose. So, Capricorn... For the week of November 30th through December 5th, I'm going to be doing weeklies for the whole month of December, so stay tuned. What do we have for Capricorn? Overwhelmed. Too much. Carrying a heavy burden. So you are feeling overwhelmed at the moment. Somebody's not happy. About a relationship. Mm, a lot of tens here. So we have a completion. Or two. Four of wands. Mm. Five of cups. So that is grieving over a loss. But we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So that is the overall energy. Now the Ace of Pentacles is an investment. It's saving. It's abundance. It's prosperity. It's a new job or a new business or an inheritance. It's gaining some sort of financial ground. Okay, maybe even getting a windfall. A windfall may be coming. You could be getting an offer. You could be getting a long-term offer. You may have manifested something. So this is definitely an investment of some sort. This is something that leads to long-term stability. So this is, it's good. It is good. But we have some trouble along the way. Of course we do. So I feel like there's there's a, there's somebody here that has a lot of responsibilities. They're feeling weighed down. They're carrying a heavy burden. They're not happy. There's a lack of growth. There's sadness. There's poor logic. There could be some relationship problems here. Somebody may be in a relationship that um, is coming to a close. It's coming to an end. When I see tens, I think of endings. It's just the way it is. I feel like it's the end of suffering as well. I think that you've been in a situation that has been overwhelming to you. Okay. It has been, I feel like it's been overwhelming. I feel like, um, I may be something to do with a child. You may have been in something with a child, you know, that was overwhelming. Um, Looks like we have somebody here that is uh, struggling. They are struggling. Um, there's a need to set boundaries, and I feel like you need to set boundaries this week. Maybe it's with a, maybe it's with somebody that is younger than you, somebody that is immature. It could be a child. It could be. You need to set some boundaries. I feel like there's some sort of pain. There's some sort of hurt. Something could happen that you know breaks the camel's back. There could also be some back pain this week, just saying. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that may be getting into another relationship with somebody else. I'm just being honest with you. Somebody could be going back. They could be going back to somebody else. Could be you. Could be them. I feel like, um, I don't know if there's some sort of reunion here. Um, I do feel as though... Uh, There is happiness. There is some, it's the end of struggling. There is some sort of happiness here with all of these, these cards. But this is poor logic. This is sadness. So it's interesting. We got this next to this. I feel like you may be deal. I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign. You may be dealing with a water sign that um, is totally, you know, has somebody's heart. There's a water sign here that may have your heart. You know, it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel like there's going to be a celebration. I feel like there's going to be some sort of reunion. If you've been fighting with this person or you're struggling or somebody's been overworked or, you know, I feel like or they've been unable to see or there's been some sort of something in the way, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. I feel like um, if there's somebody that has been really tired they've been exhausted they haven't been able to focus on a relationship 
this week things are are going to they're going to get better. I if you are single and you are watching this, I feel like there is a there is somebody around you that you may meet at a gathering, you may meet at a get together. This is and, and people are saying there's no get togethers, well, whatever. I do feel like I mean maybe for you there isn't, but not everybody um follows all the rules. I'm just I'm just being honest with you. Um I do feel like there's going to be some sort of reunion or get together or party or something like that that brings two people together. There is two people that are getting together and this feels like it could lead to a lot of happiness. It it is happiness. Anyhow, um extreme happiness after being sad or upset you know somebody may be upset they may be overwhelmed there's too much on their plate you know they're trying to do too much they may be feeling like they're all alone they're in some sort of relationship and they're doing it all by themselves or that's what they think anyway but I feel like it's the end it's the end of that I feel like you're gonna there's been some sort of conflict there's been some sort of fight or something but there's going to be you know a reconciliation or a, you know whatever it's it's going to get better um I feel like somebody has been crying over some spilled milk or crying over a loss, moping, grieving, sad. You know, there's some sadness here, but there's still an opportunity for love. So I feel like there's somebody that is going to be taking an opportunity to go through a new doorway. Maybe it could be even buying a house or moving into a new house or something like that or moving in together. Um, cause there's home, there's home here and there's home here. So something to do with a home. Um, but with that 10 of swords reverse, whoever you are dealing with, um, maybe it's, it's like something coming back from the dead. You know what I mean? So I feel like something is coming back from the dead. I feel like. Um, there's a chance for a relationship to survive. It's not over. It's not over yet. I feel like there's going to be a reconciliation between somebody from, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know who this person is, but it feels like somebody from the past. I feel like there's going to be a get together. I think there's going to be a, a message that comes through. There's, it's probably a conflict. I think there's been some spying going on. There's maybe even been some communication going on. And I feel like there's been a lot of sadness, but uh, something is coming back around. Um, there's a lot of happiness to have be had here in unity. There's a there's a connection that is is very very strong, and it can lead to um, a lot of happiness. It could lead to marriage, or if you're not married already, you know somebody could be getting proposed to anyway, or even. It, it could lead to marriage. It could lead to marriage if it hasn't already. Um, extreme happiness. This is a deep connection that cannot be denied in any way. I think there's been some sort of separation or there's been some sort of struggle. Somebody's been overwhelmed. They've been overwhelmed, but things are about to get better. Somebody's about to let something go. You know, they're about to let this bygone be bygone because there's real love here. There's true love here. This is true love, and that's what I see. So I feel like this week there is going to be an expression of feelings, and there's going to be some sort of unity with somebody that uh, really wants to build, like, you know, a future with you. I feel like it's not over. Yes, there's been some sort of struggle. It's been overwhelming. Um, somebody's been trying to do too much, or they've been working too much, or they've had too many demands, or whatever. And I think that uh, there's been a feeling of depression, or ha unhappiness, or worry, or doubt, or whatever. But there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about because this is this looks to be love to me. I think there's a water sign here, Capricorn. I feel like you're dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, it could be another sign, but I just I really feel like it's a water sign that you could really, really, really be happy with. Um, build a long-term permanent relationship with this person. You know, that could last. It could last forever. If somebody can let bygones be bygones, my advice is to let bygones be bygones because there is love here. This is really, this is love. So I feel like 
this week you may be you may be faced with some sort of burden you know you may be feeling overwhelmed by uh too much this is too much you know you may feel like this is too much you may feel like you know somebody has hurt you or uh, you can't do this anymore or something like that but my advice is to not give up not give up this is just a mild conflict okay it's just a mild conflict um, I also feel like there's going to be some sort of uh, or there's been some sort of it's almost like stalking or spying, you know, going on. You know, somebody's been really worried about what the other person is doing. Um, I do feel like there's been a communication. There's been communication going back and forth with somebody that that they love. Whether this is you and your partner, you know, I think that this is is. Uh, I feel like it's a true love connection, whatever it is. Um, there's been a lot of grieving. There's been there could have been a separation. I feel like there has. I feel like there's been some sort of separation or or even a disconnection, you know, where there's been no communication. There's been difficult communication. You know, people these two people have been having a hard time communicating because they've somebody's been overwhelmed and they haven't been able to communicate their feelings, but I feel like their feelings are gonna come out and it's gonna help to heal the connection, okay? So I feel like this is a good week of making progress. Um, I feel like there's there's a uh, something to celebrate here. This is a celebrating a partnership that is going to last. So I, I that's what I got here. Somebody is uh, going to get an offer or an opportunity to go down a new path that leads to stability. I feel like they they may have they may have lost the opportunity before, but there's another chance. Take it. Take the other, take the second chance or the third chance or whatever chance it is. Take it because it looks like this is something that can last a really, really, really long time, whatever this opportunity is. Um, consider this a blessing. Okay, somebody is being blessed. It feels like it's with another chance. After being sad, after being overwhelmed. Somebody's been too busy. They've been bit too busy to see. They've been bit too busy to see, you know, I mean, to focus on their family, perhaps. You know, they've been missing an opportunity. They've been, uh, it's poor logic. You know, they've been too busy to, to see that their family needed them, but they're about to, it's a, or, their, or their love needed them, or their partner needed them, or something like that. But anyway, I feel like uh, there's about to be some sort of turnaround. Um, Somebody is going to get a message from, I don't know if it's an ex as well. Somebody may get a message from an ex or vice versa. Or some, it's, just, it's, it's from somebody that they love, you know, that uh, changes their perception. Anyhow. We have a deep connection that is going to survive. It is going to survive a serious hurdle. So don't give up. Good luck.